Oba, and welcome back. You're with Jack the Greek for another episode of this fabulous cooking. If you look in front of me today, we have some beautiful ribeye steak and some seafood. What we're going to make today is two dishes. We're going to make a ribeye steak with some beautiful lobster tails, and then we're also going to make another steak with some beautiful prawns and scallops. If you have a look at our steaks, they're around 750 grams. The beautiful pieces of ribeye steak straight from Preston Market. Look at that. Opa. It's time to prep our steak and our seafood. We're going to put it on the Crossroad barbecue, and here we are. We've had it on for around five minutes now, on all four burners on high, and it's brought our temperature up to about 260, 270 degrees. With our steaks being so big, they're around 750 um, grams each, it's going to take us between 15 and 20 minutes to cook them. Overall, cooking time should be around half an hour. We're not going to put on our seafood straight away. We're going to cook our ribeye steaks first. We're going to put it on with all four burners on high, just to sear the top and the bottom, and then we're going to reduce it on low for the rest of the cooking. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. If you come in close, you'll see. Oh, beautiful temperature there. And you see me putting in the steaks right now. Ah, hoppa. Listen to that. Excellent. Beautiful steaks. So we're going to leave that on for around 40 seconds just to sear up the, the top. And then we're going to turn it over. And then we're going to put the lid down, put all four burners on low, and wait for around 15 minutes. Opa. So we've had our steaks on for around about two minutes now on one side, on, on the Crossway barbecue with all our four burners on high. As I said earlier, it's all about just searing in the meat and then we'll turn them over. Opa, look at that. And we'll turn over this one as well. Beautiful. What we'll do is, is we'll keep them on now for about two and a half minutes on, with all the four burners on high. We'll put them on low and we'll put down the lid and we'll see you back in around 15 minutes. Opa. You're back with Jack the Greek. Our ribeye steaks are cooking away. We're about 10 minutes into our cooking. Let me quickly show you how I'm going to prep our seafood. I want to keep it very simple. Our prawns and our scallops and also our lobster tails. I'm going to use a little bit of homemade, pre-prepared garlic, butter and rosemary. And then at the end, I'm going to decorate it with a beautiful bit of rosemary and plate it up on a beautiful wooden board. Bye -bye. It's been around 15, 16 minutes now since we've had our beautiful ribeye steak on the Crossroad barbecue. Just remember, with all four burners on low, you don't want to overcook it. So let's now put up straight away our beautiful seafood. We're going to start with the lobster, lobster tails. So let's just place them up the top, just like this. We put them across here. Beautiful. These shouldn't take more than three or four minutes to cook. Same with the prawns. And we'll just put them up here. Beautiful. Opa. Another beautiful seafood barbecue with ribeye steak by Jack the Greek. Now, before we do close the lid, we'll put our butter, garlic, just like that, on each one. Opa. There we go. One there as well. And what that will do as it's cooking is work its way through all the meat. All the beautiful lobster tails. A little bit here for scallops. Just like that. Opa, we'll be back in about three minutes to plate up. Opa, you're back with Jack the Greek. It's been around 25 minutes now. We're ready to plate up. Come and have a close look, and let's have a look at how all our seafood is going. Look at our seafood on top of, on the top grill. Well, all our four burners on the Crossray barbecue have been on high. We've been managed to cook our seafood in around five minutes. Our steaks, our ribeye steaks are ready to go. Let's put them here on our table, just like that. Now, what we're gonna do is, in a perfect world, we'd let them sit for around five minutes. We'll give them about a minute or two because our seafood is also ready. So what we'll do is, we'll turn off our Crossroad barbecue. We don't want to overcook our seafood. And we'll come back now. And let's put our beautiful steaks like that. And what we'll do is, in a couple of minutes, once we take our seafood, we'll cut up one of them just to show you what it looks like on the inside. So let's grab now our beautiful seafood. We're going to grab our lobster tails, just place them in there. 
Five. Beautiful. And we'll grab another one, just like that. And on the other side, we'll just put our prawns. Because the wife prefers the lobster tails, the Jack the Greek always loves his prawns. So here we go. We'll finish off now, putting our prawns in there, just like that. Hoppa. Hoppa. And one more. Let's not leave him behind. Just like that. And I've done this on purpose to give us about a minute and a half or two minutes for our beautiful ribeye steaks just to cool down and settle. So let's grab one more. We'll put her on here, just like that. At the back, or back, just like that there. We'll grab a skull, put it at the front, or back, just like that. Move this back. And there you have it. You have a beautiful meal from Jack the Greek. 750 gram ribeye steaks with lobster tails, prawns, and scallops. Now, let's cut it up and let's have a look. We'll have a quick look just here on the side. We'll slice it. Hoppa, look at this. Look at that. Beautiful, just nice and pink. Beautifully cooked on the Crossray barbecue. Hoppa, look at that. Fantastic. There we have it. 25 minutes on the Crossroad barbecue, ribeye steak with seafood. Weeknight or weekend, pick a night and give it a go yourself. By Jack the Greek. Opa.